for the Air Max Coco. I got two colors. I've been wanting these for a couple years. And I bought two colors uh, because they were both on sale. They both went on clearance. See, these look huge. I usually wear eight and a half in um, Nike Women's. We'll see. I hope I didn't waste my time with these. So they got this little foam sole, the bubble down here. Um, right off the bat, I would say the quality looks all right, but I'm glad that I got these for like $65 instead of the normal retail price, too, which is $100. Um, they did, like, look how they're made inside here. Can you guys see that with all the loose threads hanging and stuff? WTF, Nike. <laughs> You've done it again. Well, anyway, but, you know, everything on the outside looks pretty good. And I guess maybe the way that's probably hard to actually get to all of those, but doesn't really look great. So let's get back to sizing. So reviews always say that you have to, you must size up in these and they don't come in half sizes but at least one color was sold out in size eight so i just got both of them in size nine we're going to try these out and hope for the best they definitely to me just eyeballing them look too big and too long and i think these were the only two colorways was like the sand or tan colorway this year and the black if i'm not mistaken and past year's pink they've done like a white with an iridescent peach um serena williams even had her own pair that were kind of interesting looking so once again uh foam sole and the foam is already kind of are these worn no i don't think they were worn uh i don't know the foam has its little imperfections to it or whatever so it makes me wonder how well these will hold up actually what the heck these do look a little like the bottom look a little brown like maybe they were worn and then they got this little but maybe that's just a smudge of the glue so man <laughs> my first impression or my first comment on these get them on sale um they were marked down plus an additional 20 percent off on the nike website if you're a frequent frequent nike shopper like me you know they do that 20 percent or extra 25 percent off all the time these are really giving me the impression i don't know how, much, how well that comes up on camera but like these were probably tried on or worn in the store uh, so how these are supposed to work, you know, you put them on and they use a little toggle situation here to like form it more to your exact size. I don't think these are just going to be the best quality or the best experience from these, from the small flaws that I see in the beginning. And then also like this little Nike symbol is like, um, a little botched, like peeling in some places. The one on the top is too. Um, just like the first pair, there's uh, loose threads on the inside where all of this is stitched in. I don't think you can see it as well in the back black, but I'll try to show you. It's definitely not as bad, it looks like, as the um, tan pair. But um, let's go ahead and try these on and see what happens. Oh my god, <laughs> that looks crazy. I'll show you the damn thumbnail. <laughs> all right, for starters, if you are here with a foot fetish, I hate to inform you, but this video is not for you. Go ahead and click off of it because my feet are not done and they are just not looking cute right now. That's not what this is for. This is for ladies and maybe even gentlemen who are interested in these shoes. Um, so I put them on and I walked around in them a little bit. Let me give you some views of the shoes. <laughs> um, definitely sizing up was appropriate here due to me being a half size. If you are a guy who's looking to buy these, um, you're gonna probably wanna size up, you know, another size again from what your shoe size converts to in women's, right? And I have plenty of room, like my heel is resting right here in the back with no slipping, um, plenty of room for the front of my foot. You might notice um, my foot as well, you could definitely see it on this, the closer one. It looks like my foot is like even spilling out on the left side a little bit and i do have a little bit fat feet um, but i usually wear medium with shoes well with no issues i feel like what is happening with these though is like the foot bed itself is very wide and it's letting my foot like completely spread and relax and this explains to me why people rave about how comfortable these shoes are is because you know you've got your elevation you got your platform look they're interesting i get all that um 
but your foot is just flat and spread like my toes are completely spread out yeah a foot fetish bull is gonna have a field day with this potentially but um yeah uh if you have very narrow feet you might not have that issue i don't mind um and i've actually i feel like i've seen other people wearing these where their foot is kind of like spilling out on the side like minus two when the full weight is applied to them go ahead whoever's going to jump in the comments and say that i'm fat <laughs> but um whatever so um i don't i don't really mind how that looks um like i said i'm a person who usually wears like um what is yeah medium width or regular width shoes even though i have a slightly wider foot and i can always wear like regular size shoes with no issue but if you do have a really wide foot that is something to think about if you were considering these i honestly i like ugly shoes i guess these are the type of shoes i know like i have um like guys will probably say that they are quite hideous it's one of those things that women um <laughs> no, like it's it's like cute only for women do you know what i mean a few steps around for you guys there's not too much to say about these i think i got them at an awesome price point i do not think i would have been as happy if i paid the full 100 dollars for them given the minor flaws with like the glue and all those loose threads on the inside the loose threads it doesn't look like it's going to be a quality issue where the shoe's going to come apart or like any of these things will come apart but it's just not it's kind of unsightly if i had spent 100 dollars on these probably wouldn't have been thrilled because like if you think of like what is it teva teva any other like active brands of sandal um you wouldn't see anything like that um also with the soles on these since i mentioned like teva or like hiking sandals i literally do not think i mean look at the sole on these to each his own but me personally i don't think i would try to like hike or run or do anything these are more to me like a fashion brand even though it is air max um i don't know do that at your own risk the foam is very firm it's not like a soft and squishy look it just gives a feel it just gives you a very like supported elevated comfortable sort of feeling with the sandals i definitely would not run or hike or do like strenuous activities in those but you do have like the toggle you know it gives you that sporty effect and sporty design as if you could do i have seen reviews of people saying that they use them for those purposes and maybe once you know i get more comfortable like wearing them and walking in them and get used to the heel height and the different um sur surfaces of the heel maybe i would consider something like that but but off the bat i'm not recommending it i don't think there's anything else that i really can add about these just look from the side from the back i like the both colorways equally this one is very much like a khaki i think this is the sale the nike sale color i like that little touch of like gum sole or look that it has on the back um I think these will definitely last like more than one season, but I was sure I'm sure they would show signs of wear very quickly with like the Nike logo, you know, disintegrating already <laughs> when I took them out of the package um, and the other flaws, uh, minor flaws that they have. So yeah, any questions, thoughts, concerns, let me know. But that's a wrap on the Air Max Coco. I am glad that I finally got these. I was a little deflated. Um, you know, seeing them, seeing them in person. Oh, here's something right here that I've noticed is like this little strap around the back. Um, I have to play around with them. Yeah, I have to play around with it a little bit more with the toggle and stuff to kind of get those because you wouldn't want it like so tight that it cuts you off. But <laughs> you wouldn't want. I think I have them a little too loose right now. Let's see. Hmm. So, because this gives me more of a sensation of like tightening here versus tightening there. Like it did, you know, it pulls a little bit. It's like that little, the amount that I just pulled, it like suction comes off to my foot. But then this is still kind of loose. So, something to bear in mind. But I think, you know, you probably mess around with these and get a little bit of a different fit. So, yeah, for real this time, that's all I have to say about the Air Max Coco. Take care. I hope this helps someone. Peace.